Ladies and gentlemen, if you can hear me, let me get some uh, hearts and chat, please. Thank you very much. Good evening, pinheads. Welcome back to Dead Flip. Uh, it's a special day. It's a new pinball day, right? These are the most exciting streams anyone could ever do, ever. Okay? And uh, we've got a lot of cool people here, a lot of cool stuff to show you. Um, I'm glad you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, cool. Oh, yeah. We're in a graveyard or the entrance to a... What is this called? It's the pizza graveyard. Oh, it's the pi there's actually <laughs> pizza hiding behind uh, that tablecloth. <laughs> um, we're here at the Stern Factory to show off the new Elvira's House of Horrors game. Uh, we've got the designer, the artist, the programmer, and Mike Vinicor. The play tester and the Mike, what else do you do? He helps oh, with Mike. rules. Oh, yeah, Mike. Mike does a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Mike does a lot of stuff. Um, and you've probably seen Mike out in the world at events if you've literally been anywhere Stern shows up. Um, so I think we're going to get right into it. We're going to have everyone have their time to speak and sort of go over what's happening. Um, we're going to point out some rules. We're going to point out shots. We're going to point out ideas. Just a little bit of everything all packaged into this. Um, this... Uh, well, let's just let's just do, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, so first off, I think we're gonna start with uh, just introducing everybody, right? There's Mike. I love Mike. Hello, Mike's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, let's pull over the uh, the the gentleman who did all the art on the game, Mr. Greg Ferris, if we could, ladies and gentlemen, clap and chat. You better freaking do it. Clap and chat. Uh, Greg obviously has done the art for all three Elvira machines that now have been produced. Um, which model of game are we playing here? Which model? Yeah. This is the LE? This is the LE that we're showing you right now. Okay? Just so you know. Uh, thank you for clapping. Next, we're going to get uh, Mr. Lyman Sheets, folks. The gentleman who is pro... Listen, Lyman's been here. Okay, we're not going to talk about it. This guy is the hardest working man in pinball right now. <laughs> well, right now. <laughs> and also, I like the framing. It looks like you're about to turn into a werewolf. Or... <laughs> all right, all right. Just change back. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> Turn back into a programmer. Yeah. Um, and, ladies and gentlemen, we have Dennis Nordman here, the designer of Elvira's House of Horrors. Please, let, let's have it, internet, let's have it. Dennis is, uh, how tall are you, my man? I think we're like... I'm 6'4". Oh, okay, so you're... Sh okay, okay, I get Shorter it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just by how a little. How are you? I'm 6'7". Holy moly! But I slouch like a son of a... <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's from pinball, you know, just like hunching over and getting it. Thank you for the claps, internet. So um, we're going to switch over to the play field. I do have a roving camera that we're going to uh, zoom in on shots so you can get a better picture of what's going on. Um, but I guess, like, who would like to start sort of talking about, and this is open to anybody, to just sort of, like, the idea behind the game. Uh, let's get, like, a little bit of a story. Go. Sure. It really depends on whoever wants I'll to start. talk. Okay, cool. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get uh, Greg over here. So I'm going to switch over here. Look at that game. Internet. So I'm going to pull this off. Actually, no. Why don't you could stand here if you want and just sort of. Hello. That, that looks beautiful. All right. So, Greg, another Elvira game. Yep. Right? Uh, everyone absolutely. is absolutely in love with the first two machines. And this is awesome that we have a third one going on. Like, how involved was Elvira with this machine? Uh, just as much as she was on the first two games, really? if not more, um, because this time we have a video screen, okay. and um, oh, yeah. she participated via video, and um, she is um, part of uh, a s scenario when you start a haunt in the house, you'll see her come up on screen, and she'll tell you what this haunt is going to be about. Oh, so she's actually on the screen talking to you while absolutely, you're playing. Absolutely, absolutely. That's freaking not, not all the time, yeah. but, you know, for key events. She does make appearances on there. That's awesome. Exactly. And as far as, like, um, just like the design, I guess it's more of a question for you. Uh, how much influence did she have over, like, theme? Or, you know, was she like, I want, like, a cool, creepy haunted house? Or I want, like, a... She's always been very open with what we want to do and mm -hmm. very accepting of our ideas. So we, we, so, we send her a pitch. Okay. You know, and, and Lyman is, uh, you know, the guy that always wanted to do a haunted house game. And so when 
the Elvira license became available again, we thought it was just a natural to go ahead and c combine uh, what Lyman's been wanting to do with uh, Elvira and create a haunted house theme. That's so awesome. that was the first thing that I worked with to fit into the game. Was the get, getting house. that castle, or the, yeah. I'm sorry, the house looking good? There was good. quite a bit of development in that because it took a while to get to this point to make it look as good as I wanted it to look. Yeah, I don't doubt. The, uh, I, like all the windows, uh, the turret on top, which is nuts. Um, I, I guess we'll go into exactly what that's doing when we get there. Uh, you brought in the leapers. Uh huh. The quote unquote the leapers, which uh, is I brought them back, and they still hit the glass. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> That's amazing. We uh we have the deadheads in here still. Now we this seems very focused around like her TV show, the uh, the more like old B movies that she played. Mm -hmm. um, was it hard like getting those movies, or I guess they're public? It's part domain. of a compilation that yeah. is public domain. Oh, so, fantastic. Um, yeah, when they offered that. That seemed like a great uh, basis to like launch off of and create, you know, all these haunts. So the idea of a haunted house, it's her house, and the idea behind it all is that she is haunted by all the B movies that she's taunted for years. Ah, they so, all escaped from the film, and they haunt her house now because they're upset with her for making fun of their movies. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so there is a story behind I think having the movies in there. It took a little while to get to that point because I don't think we knew in the beginning we had the movies. Right. We started out with something a little different, was, was a haunted house, but when we got the movies, that changed everything, and that's how Greg and I developed our initial concept. That's awesome. Let me keep this over here. Sorry, I'm a little technical. We're just making it, making it louder for you. You can see, folks, we got, like, they even took the haunted house, created it in 3D, and everything's happening in there. Like, the windows are lighting up. And even inside the, the haunted house toy here, each window has, like, a... Did I see that every window has, like, a light yes. behind okay. it? Oh, man. So the idea is to light up all the windows. Oh. Ah. on top shows you different modes that you can obtain. That is freaking awesome. Uh, Freak Fryer, where did that come from? Uh, that's just, a, you know, something that uh, we... This, this whole thing in the middle of the play field, um, we, we tried to come up with a, a device, a mechanism, to tie everything together. So, so the idea here is... You're 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 cleaning the house of the spirits. You're you're working with the uh, the uh, crypt, and you're you're uh, waking the deadheads, but you're putting them back again. And so each phase of the game is represented uh, by this this mechanism that's you know in the basement of her house, so to speak. And and so uh, you know, and also we pay a little homage to the stiffometer with the freak fryer. Oh, absolutely. Um, by every switch that you hit on the game becomes a, uh, you know, it adds to the freak fryer and, and then you get these side modes based off of, uh, you know, once you get that built up like the stiffometer, then you get uh, a chance to um, get Gapa angry. Uh, Gapa is from a film called Prehistoric, uh, what? What is the name of that? Monster, Monster? from a prehistoric planet. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> Lyman's been working with you for a while, so he, he knows. Yeah, yeah, Lyman's been cutting uh, scenes from these movies. So. Programming. Yes, yeah, that too. Yeah. Much, much programming. <laughs> He, uh, Lyman Sheets, everybody, you're, you're quite aware of his work. He, yeah. does, he does amazing stuff. And, so uh, the machine is something that helps you get the monsters back into their movie oh i see this is sort of like a like a like a like a ghost chamber or a, yeah. a yeah. monster yeah. chamber the, the b restorator is where you know the the higher end players will will be able to get uh, <laughs> hold on the the b, the b yeah okay the b restorator oh, that's correct. It, it will we'll zoom in on that later internet okay sorry and go for you'll it you'll eventually get to director's cut uh so you'll um you know it's just a higher level of of the game building up to uh, some really cool stuff. That is th that is freaking awesome. Uh, so, yeah, Internet, look at all the stuff that is going on here. It's also, like, we got inserts for days on this thing. I'm excited to see this thing flip. Um, I think we're going to let Lyman Sheets talk a little bit about, we're going to hit start, have him talk a little bit about, like, an approach here to code, rules, and stuff like that, if, you, if you'd love yeah, to. Yeah, we could. Uh, I don't know. 
Like, or we'll just, yeah, let's just do that. That makes a lot more sense than uh, drowning you guys out. Oh my God, this thing is sick. Oh yeah, Tr trust me. By the way, if you folks have any questions uh, later, we will field a few before we uh, kill it here. Um, but yeah, Lyman, what do we what do we got going on here, my uh, man? Well, uh, the basics of the game uh, on the house, uh, the entrance. You can uh, each of the windows is associated with um, one of the one of the B movies that you're trying to get these uh, spirits, yeah, if you spirits, will, spirits right back on film and out of the house. Um, and uh, so I think the uh, the six we have. Um, are the main ones, um, Werewolf of Washington, um, Manos, The Hands of Fate, uh, Teenagers from Outer Space. Teenagers from Outer yeah, Space. Night of the Living Dead. I don't know if anybody knows these movies. Most of them, like... I think Night of the Living Dead yeah, probably rings a bell for probably people. Probably, like, uh, yeah, one a lot of people know. And the other ones, I, I, I mean, I didn't even know some of them. Some people knew about Werewolf Manos. Werewolf of and, Washington? Yeah, Werewolf of Washington. Yeah, I get that one. Um, yeah, and uh, the brain that wouldn't die. Um, there's this really long death scene in the movie, and so um, uh, we turned it into a mode where um, you see, you know, it just images of the guy, different stages of the guy, uh, you know, uh, um, in his death scene. Um, and then uh, there are two big modes. Uh, one is uh, the party mode in the center of the house. Um, it's about the halfway mark uh, through the house. And the other is the... Um, uh, the attic mode, uh, which is the last, uh, the, uh, the last mode in the house. Uh, and there's also a locked room over here. Um, you need the key to get over into the locked room. And then that is a collection of, um, like kind of like bonus, uh, uh, movie haunts, um, that, uh, some of them are really hard to kind of pull information out of to make something like even remotely oh yeah uh, no no doubt or whatever from <laughs> yeah. some of no these. doubt it's kind of hard um and then so um that's sort of like uh a collection of um of those uh the other uh we have three multi balls um in the garage on the house uh they're just uh in order sequential wild women multi ball a couple movies uh one was um the wild women of wongo and uh untamed women that um there are some uh, pieces from there um, add a zombie multi-ball so w there's one of the movies is uh, associated with uh, the house one of the rooms and then there was an, uh, a movie called I Eat Your Skin which was uh, oh, yeah, yeah, well there was no <laughs> skin eaten but uh, there were a bunch of zombies in it so um, um, those guys are kind of represented here and um, Attic Attack is sort of a mishmash of uh, creatures, monsters, uh, multi-ball. Um, the other sort of things, I always like kind of go around yeah, do with, it. with what, you know, people would see. Um, the crypt, this is, um, Greg, can, you can talk about this too. Sure, sure. Yeah. The Deadhead family crypt. Uh, it's just, we, we took the Deadhead concept from the first two uh, games and just expanded it into something uh, a little more uh, further developed. Um, so you um, basically bang on the door of the crypt. It lets you in. The, the ball actually goes inside the crypt, um, and uh, a dead head is presented. So you're basically bash bashing a skull uh, for, the, for the mode, and the skull is morphing into um, a character um, on screen. Oh, so, like a, a physical sh skull shows up yes, that you bash. Yes, yes. When the, when the crypt opens, uh, you, you, you're, the ball actually goes through a trough and comes out the crypt kicker over here and then enters the back into play and, and the a skull will be exposed and you'll use that a, as a bash toy uh, and then the character that's uh, the floating head on screen will there's like 12 different characters um, and that'll be floating around and every time you bash the skull they'll have something to say to you that's um, awesome. yeah it's uh, you know they're they're annoyed that you woke them up after all these years <laughs> fair fantastic what else do we got here? So can we talk a little bit about the uh, the junk in the trunk over here? Junk in the trunk. That, that, was, was... In, that was inspired by uh, one of the... Yeah, what was that inspired by? It was inspired by <laughs> one of the uh, scenes from uh, Elvira, one of, one of her shows, probably the first one in the series, where she 
was moving and she was fearful that she would have to move, so she had things packed up and she wanted to find something in her dusty old box. So oh um, I, I, lo I love we, Elvira's we humor. Took that concept and changed it to junk in the trunk. So um, in Dennis t tends to like uh, crates and trunks. <laughs> okay. And stuff. Fair. So so this is just another iteration of a crate trunk whatever. One so of my first models of the game actually said dusty old box. <laughs> What's cool about this is not only is it, uh, it, it's got like rails on top to allow it to be part of the habit trail here, but it also opens up to take balls in, which is uh, pretty freaking unique. Then that, once they kick out of here, they shoot you back into the pot bunker. So there's a little kick out, sorry, I got a little closer. So when the ball goes in the trunk, it goes into here and kicks out over into, into the, the pot bumper area. area. Right well, through it, there. It is possible to make the pot bumper shot from the left flipper, but it's a really tight shot, and you have to bounce it off of this target to make it work. Oh. Ah. Yeah. You can do it. That's awesome. So it, it really has like eight major shots on the play field, and most games have seven. So I squeezed an eighth one in. <laughs> well, well done. Squeezing it in. Uh, I think we should flip on this thing for a little bit. And maybe we can, as we progress through stuff, we can talk a little bit about like modes and stuff as we get there. Uh, let me set this. I'm holding a lot of equipment right now, Internet, so calm down. We're doing great. Hey, it's me again, Jack Danger. How are you? I don't know if we mentioned this, but the ramp in the house opens up in certain conditions and you can shoot into the cellar. Oh, the... Oh, the ramp, this guy here, this, ramp this lifts up. up. Oh, leads you into the cellar for more cool stuff. there you go, internet, another shot, okay, dripping in shots, um, who would like to, how loud is this, by the way, I guess we'll just hit start, here we go. Can you, I'm just going to check with you, internet, can you hear the game? Turn it up. Um, e well, yes, we would love the glass on. Let's get started. A little louder? Okay, one second. How's that? Let me make sure the mic is even on. Louder. Good. There we go. Can you still hear me and the game audio? We're just going to put the glass on real quick. I'm going to switch over to this while we put the glass on. Yeah, we're good? All right, sick. A little louder. We could turn it up on the game. Uh, we we all have pizza fingers. Shout out to White Castle or wherever we got pizza from. Oh, White Cottage, my bad. <laughs> White Castle would be something totally different. You guys don't have those White Castle pizzas? They're free. They're freaking. Give it time, White Castle will probably offer a hundred percent, hundred percent. White Castle pizza. All right, well here we go. Uh, let's do a one-player game right now, just to talk about a few things, and then we will play. Yeah, we'll let Lyman start. So they'll be able to hear us just fine. Yeah. So this is the house shot that'll start the uh, the mode, uh, the haunt. There's a skill shot in the back. Uh, the uh, the Elvira super secret backdoor unskilled shot. Lucky you. Yeah, we're still trying to. I'm still trying to make one of these today. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, just to go over some of the stuff. So the freak fryer. This leads to Gappa Angry, which is sort of like. Stiffometer in uh, in scared stiff. Um, when we were going over all of this stuff, uh, it was such a cool movie. Like it's like a you know a, a Godzilla knockoff movie, and it had a lot of cool scenes. Um, and then it just sort of made sense for what for what you guys were wanting to do with that. Um, the let's uh, get started today. Yeah, uh, the orbit uh, is a mode. The ramps is a mode. The trunk items is kind of cycles through you hit the bank it locks into one of the items if you complete these targets the trunk will open up uh, and you can lock two balls in here two ball multi-ball 
And then uh, again, that's the haunts. There's a drop target there for a multi-ball. Um, deadheads here. And this uh, just switches. We'll build this up. Uh, if you uh, start haunts, the windows will go solid as you work your way through the house. You can get the house party mode in the middle and the final house mode at the top. Um, defeating deadheads uh, gives you the crypt phases, uh, and the second one I think lights extra ball. There's less on there. Yeah, three. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, and these four here, if you finish the haunt, uh, we'll give you one of these. I think the second one lights extra ball. Effect. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, the game plays like kind of, I, I feel like it plays kind of friendly, little, little kind of long. So um, I ended up putting the extra balls on more. I guess this is more skill based kind of thing. So, um. internet. By the way, Lyman Lyman is working hard on this game. So like things, uh, what you see here, is a good some good bones on it. Oh, there you go. I love the silhouette. Get ready to hunt down the big bad and a little quirky werewolf of Washington. Yo. This one here uh, again, werewolf of Washington. Uh, Full moon, uh, it's on a timer. All the house modes are on a timer, so I just want to shoot an orbit here. Can you guys hear Lyman okay? Uh, and then, so, the orbits are gone and it lit all these other shots for me. These are all, I can make as many of these as I want, and this is sort of, all of these modes are open-ended, so there's one part of them where you can just keep going as long as you want. This one here, you just have to just so like keep each shot is, oh my god uh, is on a uh, is on a timer and it's kind of like a combo and you uh, if I hit one of the shots like that or the drop target it'll end that um, that sequence uh, of, of that so I just have to do this three times so this is um, that's kind of like your disaster oh, drop that, ramp is that left flipper into the pop bumper yeah uh, and then uh, as long as I can keep it going I can keep shooting the shots, uh, but as soon as I miss or shoot one of the other ones, uh, it stops the uh, the sequence. So I got the uh, the deadhead. Oh, that is the deadhead. Let's see if I can get that in a second. Hold on. You can kind of see him in there. He popped out, so now we get to bash his face. The other thing about the modes is. Uh, restart that one there uh, just barely in the grace period um, so every time you hit a shot it'll reset the timer to a, uh, a base value um, I think like 15 seconds and then uh, you can uh. all right I had one last shot to go and I would have finished uh, that, uh, that move. keep it on the deadhead all right let me put the mic in here so I don't have to hold this thing, and we'll put it in Lyman's face, and then I will get that. Uh, Internet, you're doing awesome. How, what do you think so far, guys? Guys and gals? Started. Yeah, we're getting Today. started. Calm, oh my god, calm down. The house changes colors, too, during all different the house. How do you mean the house changes colors? Like uh, the, the lighting of the house? Yeah, the light, the color, yeah, the light. The house is, is made in like a light gray so that we put RGB LEDs on it to make it any color we want. Oh, that's fantastic. RGB LEDs in there so they can make it any color they want. Um, yeah, so like the werewolf mode was, uh, uh, yeah, like bluish silver, um, whatever color werewolf is, I guess like probably gray. Oh, I got You're the. You're uh, driving me crazy. I got the cl the clown mode. So the cl orbits are yeah. driving me crazy. Hey, Elvis. So you could see the deadhead, the deadhead floating on the screen. Uh, she's there to let you know that she is active and wants to be hit in the face like that. And now it's a mech. Holy crap. Yeah, and she's gone, but uh, so she'll be back. So this next one is uh, Teenagers from Outer Space. Okay, kids, time to take this space party elsewhere. Fire up your retro rockets and ship out. Uh, this one here, just uh, shoot a few of the, uh-oh. That's 
Oops, I'm gonna go for the ball lock there. There you go. Oh, that's what that number 12. I'm such a. I, oh, it's 12 and 2. Man. Yeah, so, it's a 1 and a 2. I was like, what the hell does 12 have to. Oh, okay, it's ball lock 1 and 2. Oh, I forgot. Uh, when you finish the deadhead, it lights uh, the ball save on the right out lane. And I forgot to talk about the hand of fate. So the um, the spider and scared stiff was on the back panel. So um, hand of fate here. If you uh, let's see that yellow that yellow insert on the yeah, right. The red here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there. You um, go. Yeah. So oh, the yeah, those three inserts right there. To dogs here and Lima's doing great for me having a camera over the playfield. So that's the hand of fate over there, and there's some. Oh, I thought I could back in there. All right. Um, anyway, so yeah, this guy here. Uh, if you go down here, there's a wheel uh, that spins, kind of like the spider wheel. There's six spots. Oh yeah. And you can hit the button, and uh, you know we have stuff like. Uh, there's some points. There's also the multi ball extends, kind of like on scared stiff for the uh, the house multi ball. And the trunk multi ball, which I haven't Today. gotten yet either. So to get into the trunk, we gotta hit that 36. That's right there, and then shoot up the left ramp. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's a combination to the trunk. Oh, 36, 24, 36. That's cute. <laughs> I had to make it easy to remember. <laughs> What's the combination? Ah, uh, I forget. Off by a little bit. Ah, yeah. uh, the other thing you can. Oh well. The other thing you can do here is sneak in the back way. Uh, and. Uh, oh, you can it'll, sneak it'll, in it'll there. Just, yeah. It'll just lock. Ah. Oh. So I could try it again. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot over there for that and see what happens. So. How tall is Elvira? What? Does that is that a thing? She's nine feet tall, sure. She's bigger than life. Larger, sorry, larger than life. We are looking at the LE model, ladies and gentlemen. The limited, no, yeah, the limited edition. Because this, there is uh, the SLE, the LE, and the premium. Got it. Signature edition, thank you. You know, I think it's because I'm in your bubble right now, bro. Trying to hold a camera and a microphone at the same time is a pain in the butt. Oh! Good save, good save. It's all right. We can fix that later. Actually, you just made the angle better, I think. Yeah, so that was as intense as it was to straighten out your camera. You're the best, Lyman. Ah, what happened? Oh, you know what? Is, is there a ball in there? No, what happened? I don't think there's a ball in there. I'm not sure. Uh, why didn't the truck open up? It did open. Maybe because you shook it so hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, junk in the trunk's still lit. So yeah, maybe shoot the... Did it, oh, did I shake it and it closed? Oh, oh, no, no. oh there it goes. I must have fell down when I moved the game or something. So it just lifted up and gobbled that. <laughs> Why? Why did? We? So now I have to uh, try to do it again for. Yeah. Yes, Tim. Tim Kitzrow is back for freezing his role as the Dracula. Tim. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. The drunk in the trunk. Nailed it. I did. The junk in the trunk. Oh, there you go. What's cool about the warning and the tilt animations on this is they actually show up over the video. Uh, like the tilt animation, I think a bunch of um, spider webs show up. The junk in the trunk. I'm doing terrible. Trunk in the trunk. Hey, that's me. Oh. Don't move. 
Blur. Blur. <laughs> that's right. That's like Dracula from Monster Bash. Blur. <laughs> got a match? He's coming back. Oh. He got this, Lyman. Actually, let's get a four-player game going on here, and we can sort of talk while we're uh, sure. blowing this up. Yeah. Don't fall off the table. We do four. All right. Let's make some magic happen here, Internet. This is actually, no joke, my first time flipping this game. So let's see what happens. Can you hear me? Good. I love you. All right, here we go. Yep, they hit the glass. That's hilarious. Zoop. You're not happy unless something hits the glass. Why is that? Why is that font so small? Be, it got really small. A member of the Washington Press Corps has just been bit by a werewolf, and now he's haunting my house. So grab a silver bullet, darling. Let's get it. And let's rid the place of these canine correspondent. That's freaking amazing. No, not a beer. My bad. Yeah. And so we, and it was it was made in the seventies. So we figured a, a disco tune would be appropriate. Ah, disco for the only or one of the few movies that actually had color. There you go. All right, get it. All right, internet. Let's get started. What changes Today. the mode before going into the house? Oh, there you go. Deadheads. Which one did I get? Aunt Surly. She's back. Alright, so internet, about the uh, the modes being linear, uh, Lyman, yeah, Lyman Scott. They're in order for this stream, just uh, for presentation, um, and but. Uh, when are we shipping the game? Like next week sometime. Uh, so uh, they will not be in order. You'll be able to select which one uh, you want to uh, you want to play. Awesome. Out of the six, if you want to get to the um, the secret room, you you have to have the uh, the, the skeleton key. Oh, great! So, awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Lemon. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. Yeah, no, otherwise, you just you know, I don't like if I see the same thing all the time. You know, it gets like kind of boring. It would drive me nuts. <laughs> yeah, but at least like you could. You know, you could get a feel for what everything is, you know, kind of doing or whatever else. Um, uh, just, you know, for seeing, instead of jumping around, you can you can kind of focus on, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, a, a, a couple of them. So, yeah, but... Um, Rock and no. roll. Uh, yeah, uh, once... Um, what do I want to say? Uh, yeah, one, um, they're, they're not going to be uh, in, in order. All right, cool, 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 cool. There you go, Internet. Lyman, will this be getting... Uh, I'm sure. Uh, 42, I'm sure. Can you backhand that dead headshot? Uh, sure looks yeah. like it, yeah. You could backhand this ramp, too. Yeah. Um, Backhand is pretty much the orbits and maybe the right okay, ramp. I don't think you can backhand because of the guard. Oh. But almost everything's backhandable. Awesome. Are you able to hear Elvira okay? Jack can sing The Love Boat. The Love Boat. Soon we'll be making another run.
Yo, thank you, uh, Frank, Mac, for the biddies. A million percent. One of the advantages of having shots further away from the flipper is that it makes more shots backhandable. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I, I love it. It also allows you to put lots of cool inserts. And artwork. The internet is saying that they would love Elvira to have subtitles for when they play this on location in a loud, <laughs> in a loud bar. Okay, uh, player three. Who would look up to read them when they're in the bar? Dude, I don't know. All right. I haven't played this very much at all. A member of the Washington Press Corps has just been bitten by a werewolf. And now he's haunting my house. So grab a silver bullet, darling. No, not a beer. I love I love that line so much. Now, if you don't want to watch the long show, once you get used to it, you can hit the flippers and it'll go away. Look at that dang house. Ah. So you said that twice about the, the guy. Do you think Ray, you want to give it a go? He, he could make a noise. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's just because I think the sound that's on there is like the thud or whatever. Like he could make like that. The Bedhead you know, Family Crib. Like, like I said in my email, they're getting knocked way off the road. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Get ready to hunt yeah, down the stuff. big bad What's and the that? little crunchy yeah, werewolf yeah, of Washington. I do. Oh, so yeah, she does have multiple callouts for the same mode. Oh, internet, did you see that? Yeah. The, like, the same mode has multiple callouts. So, yeah. e like, even if, you know, this was a linear, uh, the monotony is still broken up there, which is fantastic. Yeah, sorry I made it that way. <laughs> no, nah, you know. See if I can actually uh, do something here. Don't test safe. <laughs> yeah, you shot it again really quickly, but it didn't score it because the uh, the center ramp. Yeah. Oh, word. The I, I just want to give a shout out to my lovely wife, Chris, who's watching us at home. Uh, hi, Chris. You you're way too hot for this, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> she 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 is way too hot for me. I totally married I totally married way above my my league.
get rid of Ants early. Bye, Ants early. Later, Ants early. Oh. She got you. The trunk got was you. open. Ants early's revenge. Oh, that's you, Dennis. Internet, I hope you don't mind the like roving handheld camera for the the sexy action shots. I gotta turn study cam on actually, hold on. Ah. Oh here, talking to the oh. get get in there. Besides casually playing every day, I help out with some rule design. I uh, oversee our field test program. I appear at all the Marco shows as a face of Stern and uh, any number of other things that they throw at me. And I'm not stoned. I'm just tired. Let's get started today. <laughs> you look stoned. Yeah. Hey, I'm right there. I'm right there with you. Internet, it's Mike Vinicor's birthday soon. Uh, can we get a hot happy birthday in chat, please? He's turning 39. I wish I was turning 39. <laughs> He's uh, the big 5 0 for Mike. Good on him. Youngster. Just yeah. a youngster. I'm the youngest old timer in this business. <laughs> I've been in the Man. business for tw for half my life, but I'm the younger end of the spectrum from all of us that have been from the old Williams Valley Midway days. The old Valley Williams days. All right, so I'm uh, doing the worst. Let's try to change that. A little short plunge action. Boom. Ball one locked. Don't do it. Oh, that would have been cool. Zoink. I mean, listen, I don't have any points, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get something going here. Of course, now I'm not gonna hit it. Point, 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 point. All right, can you, you could probably backhand that yeah, shot too. Can. Okay, it's just not right there. Oh, please. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, we'll start a mode. Oh, okay. See, I didn't even know that. That's great. Let's go. Mode into multiball. Internet, get a fit. Yo, I got a haircut. Internet, how do I look? Mike, you need a haircut. Go get faded up, dog. Oh, you know what? I, I don't know why the f I don't know why the font's so damn. You. S Listen, Dad. Well, I got old. I got dad eyes. I need. I, I need it bigger. I updated this, and I don't know why it's being stupid. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Denied. Reach out. There oh. we go. Mike's kryptonite. He is. Didn't know. <laughs> Get the last star boy. Okay. I'll yeah, try. The music changes a little bit as you progress up the freak fryer, kind of like scared stiff. He didn't score. 
fucking yeah, scared. Yeah, the red one is slow. They're coming for you, Barbara. Barbara? Night of the Living Dead, the original zombie adventure. Let's trap this crap ASAP. <laughs> trap this crap ASAP. That was a good rhyming on how virus fired. Greg is the king of alliteration. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Alright. Dennis? Oh, I get it. So now oh. I it's all public domain, ladies and gentlemen. You too can have the rights to. So the action button, besides the obvious of uh, starting a game and punching balls, when the, you get the hand of fate, you use it to stop the wheel on your to try to get the award you want. Oh, no. We are not in a We are at Stern. Yep. Report preliminary findings. Teenager must mean something else in space, because, I mean, these guys look like 30-something. You know, my age. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Just talk to Mike. Hey, Penny. I think my family might be watching tonight too if uh, Dan figured it out. So uh, if Come you're watching, on, if you're watching, thanks Dan for hooking him up and uh, hi to everybody, including Aunt Let's Surly. Let's get started. All right. Today. Okay. Stop bothering me. I have to rehearse. Oh. Oh. I'll save you. Oh, there's time. Woo. Lucky me. Chunk in the trunk. I haven't tried it on this one. Yet. It anything oh, and everything. Oh. 
Party time? Party time. Happy hour. Unhappy hour. Good song. This song cannot make you unhappy. All right. You're enforced to, to uh, you're, you're, you're required to shake it. Um, fixing coming. Uh, you, the games that we show you here, folks, during these streams, you know, we're, we're still uh, we're still tweaking them. So don't sweat it. Need to see Manos mode? Ooh. Maybe. Maybe. Saturation degrees and 96 volumes. Saturation Teenage, degrees. You're volumes. missing something else in space because, I mean, these guys look like 30 something. You know, my age. No, we have the glass on the game, ladies and gentlemen. We never stream with the glass, or, or else it would sound like people are making horseshoes in here. Nothing happened, Mike. You're doing great. What'd you do? We just gave you a... Uh... Tilted, you tilt, well, I was not, I wasn't the last player, so you just tilted it out. You were 31. Yeah, sure. We I'm, tilted out. My job is safe. <laughs> he didn't get fired. I didn't get fired. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to try to start some stuff here, folks. Okay. What time do we got? Eight o'clock? Oh yeah, we're doing it. Uh, if you folks have any questions, um, at me, so it shows up red in the chat and I'll try to read it. The font's really small on my computer for some reason and I hate it. Let's get started today. We're good. Just hit refresh. I don't know what you did, Internet. Stop touching stuff. All right, here we go. Stop touching things. Oh, I wanted to do the full plunge. I'm a ding dong. Blue. Everyone, spam F5 as fast as you can. Breaking news: A member of the Washington press corps has just been bitten by a werewolf, and now he's haunting my house. So grab a silver bullet, darling. I just wanted to hear that. Beer. Okay, I just wanted. I did. To place in this correspondent. Oh, nice. She keeps talking through the video. Or once you uh, get. Oh, dude, that's sick! Hell yeah, that's perfect. So you still get you still get the uh, yeah, that's awesome. The soothing dulcet sounds of Elvira's voice. Give me a ball save. Hearts in chat if you can hear me. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Dennis. Um, about, about the sound of the gargoyles. Totally know what you're talking about. Not today. Are there adults and kids saying that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I'm waiting for the call to the service department. This will have to wait. I need it on the red car. All right, here we go. The player who is up has the larger score. Truers. Love you too, Pinball Nerds Podcast. Thank you, bud. All right, I got the chat on my hand. If anyone has any questions, I will ask the team. Game looks great. Also, Elvira's, uh, yep. Outlane, you are not wrong. Watergate multi-ball? Uh, no, it's just scenes from the... That's the werewolf of Washington. He's <laughs> Something yeah, gate. Yeah, what's the new gate today, Internet? Uh, will there be fluid or something in the freak fryer at some point? Fluid? It's a, uh, what, what do you call the thing that's like electricity in a tube? There's a name for that. Sure, well, I guess, it, oh, like a Jacob's Ladder inside of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eyeball shooter rod? Uh, I don't know. Are there playfield multipliers? There is a 2x playfield and a 4x playfield right there. Uh, yeah, that rule, uh, you have to complete both uh, target banks. So left and right, and it'll light a lane. Uh, you can change it back and forth. Uh, you go down the lane, you get 2x. Uh, if you do it again while 2x is running, it'll go to 4x. Oh, dope. Yeah. Great. Let's get started today. Fast lane. Uh, fast lane. Back up your headphones, bro. Uh, there are some Elvira's in an arcade. Make sure she ain't. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, no end of ball bonus. We're just we're just showing you gameplay right now. Is Tim uh, Kitzro going to have more callouts? Yes. That is a resounding yes, ladies and gentlemen. Blue. I'm just going to keep blowing for you. Oh, Lord. I love... I love it. Lyman's taking notes live. <laughs> Your local Chuck E. Cheese had a scared stiff when you were a kid? Nice. Chuck E. Cheese here. We had Showbiz Pizza. Oh, yeah. Which, which went out of business and, Sh and Chuck E. Cheese gobbled them up when they went bankrupt. I remember the band from Showbiz. Owl, why are you trolling, baby? Blur. Blur. Whoever is beaten by a werewolf and lives become the werewolf himself. <laughs> <laughs> Become a werewolf himself. Uh, Brucifer, yes. The answer is yes. Seems looking great. Thank you, some Cali dude. Elvira will... Elvira herself will be at Expo. That is correct. All right, here we go. No, please, yell all day. I think I'm player one. Free shot. Here it is. Elvira won't be there with Cassandra. Cassandra will be there. There you go. Elvira. Son of a Frid person. I got this. I got this. Yeah, you can you can skip the the videos, but she'll keep talking through. Oh yeah, I forgot. So trailer trash. Like, if you finish the mode, um, this will be up there for a while. Uh, so it, it'll light uh, trailer trash, left ramp, right ramp, center shot. So I could shoot the center shot for half of what I got on the last mode. Uh, if I want to, I can shoot the left ramp. And then the center shot's worth 75% of what I had on the last mode. And then if I shoot the right ramp also, it would be 100%. But as soon as I make a ramp shot, it starts counting down. Oh. 
Oh, uh, so you. I'm just gonna take. Just take the, it. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that right there. Derek reporting. Scared stiff. Uh, yeah, like happy birthday stuff. Oh, happy yeah. birthday stuff. Why not? Yeah, I love it. Sure. Like, like, uh, secret Jack Danger code. I love it. Wild women multi balls. Oh come on, I want them more. Oh, oh so, so that hand of fate there has an important thing for me. It's called extend multi ball. If I can get it, I can actually get it during multi-ball. Um, there is no add a ball. There's only the extend. Play field. Is there a midnight madness on this? Uh, no, there is not. There you go. There's a 7.32 p.m. mode on this game. <laughs> True, yeah. It's all midnight modes because it's midnight movies. Absolutely. So we got a couple of windows lit in the house there. The 2x going here. Oh no, it ball checked out. <laughs> ouch, ouch. That's a yikes. How many Elvira call it? Do, if if I said if I said twelve, would you be upset? <laughs> if I said thirty-two, like I don't. What does the exact number do for you? <laughs> love you, love you, Internet. Just giving you a hard time. Eleventeen. <laughs> Eleventeen call outs. Boop -a -boo. I want all the Elvira. Got it. Missed my sub. Battery is low on this phone. Oh, don't you well. Charge that what are you doing to my phone, dude? You just don't charge your phone. You're right, I don't. All right, we're not gonna look at my phone anymore. Ah, all right, player four. Anything. Can you make the score naked? Wait, what? 
Um, uh, wow, the mods are uh, the mods are doing some work in chat. Yeah, I mean, I I'm not seeing what's being said, but I I trust them implicitly. Internet, if you get banned, you know, give me a holler. We'll talk about it. Alright, I gotta have a big game this next ball. The balls go up those ramps so freaking easily, it's nuts. <laughs> yes, once you hit that. The Haunted House animations are real nice, they really are. The Shinma removed uh, ban, okay, cool. Uh, game tapes, thank you for the booties. Uh, folks, typically we don't call out subs and stuff like that while we're streaming, so please don't be upset. Blue. Is there a wizard mode? Um, what? <laughs> yeah, it's lime and sheets. I think every mode's a wizard mode. Well, we, did, we decided we were tired of wizard mode, so <laughs> we, we initiated a ban on them. Yeah, no more wizard modes. How true is it to the other two Elvira pins? Um, in like, the there's a lot of like homages in this game for sure. All right, watch this. Yeah, download that Twitch app, or you can download. I'm explaining to this 50-year-old over here how to use a cell phone. 49-year-old, <laughs> got it. Let's get started today. Today. Oh, two weeks left. The leapers. The Leapers! What have I done? We hadn't seen it yet, so I figured I'd give you a little taste. <laughs> Yo, somebody asked about wizard modes. Um, there's one modes right now. One, two, three. The fourth mode right there, that's house party. Hopefully somebody will get to it. We were getting it all day today, yeah. so I don't know what the per Performance is. anxiety. Um, there's another one. This is like the stiffometer mode. Once you get enough on the Freak Fryer level three right now, you have to get up to level five. It'll like Gappa Angry uh, here. That's kind of like the, um, the stiffometer wizard mode. Um, and then uh, the other... Um, one would be uh, the director's cut. So if you finish four modes, um, that's the other one. This is maybe the hardest one um, of the three. The way it's set up, and actually it looks like it's playing out that way. You know, that'll be the easiest one. That'll be the middle one, and that'll that's be the hardest the, one. The awesome. Hard one. Love so, it. All right. Let's, uh, let's see some wizard modes. Yeah. I Internet. Think, I, I think we're not getting the gargoyle thing because one of the targets or whatever like it's not it's not registering too well but. uh internet i need an intern to come do all this stuff for me so i can just focus on playing pinball thank you love you they're coming to get you barbara, barbara no! night of the living dead the original zombie adventure let's trap this crap asap hey let's T.O. Pinhead, yes, all of these films are public domain. Wait, can I have a viewing party on Twitch watching these? 
Internet? Oh, okay. May is a long time away, bro. I will be there again next year. Will you? I will. If you're still if you're still around. If Gary doesn't fire you for losing. Yeah. But I, yeah, I'll be there next year. It's on my uh, it's on my list of shows that I'm just, that I'm doing. Loving the GB taxi cab sound effect in this one. Yeah. But will you come to Allentown Pinfest in May? Um, May May is also a ways away. We got like a Guys, year why why are we We have a year of winter. Why are we pooping? We're pooping ourselves in these guys. We were destroying this game. All right, I'm going to get to this house party now. You play it by yourself. All right. Mike. Here, and talk us through what you're doing. All right. Well, I'm going to just try to go for modes so I can try to get the house party to show everybody. Okay, so, I need to get party. through three modes. To get there. I don't have to stare at Mike's forehead. Yeah. Sorry, you gotta make the camera lower when I play. You need a hydraulic lift for it. I need, I need a That's cheating, Internet. Cheating. Oh no. Signals to the ball. <laughs> yeah, <that'd be> <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, there will be a bonus screen at the end. Gotcha. Internet. Yes, there will be a, there will be. Back door. Pinball Princess, the modes are only linear just for the stream. They will not be uh, once the game starts hitting the floors. Uh, 
Alright, I just got the extra ball. That should help me get to where I need to get, where I want to show you. Alright, third mode. Night of Living Dead. I'll do this. Night of Living Dead, the original zombie adventure. Let's trap this crap ASAP. Head will I get? Enormous cranium. I need it on the red carpet. All right, I got the house party, Lyman. I got the house party. I don't know. No, I didn't cancel it. No. Oh, did it go halfway up the ramp and back down? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, that's what happened. Did it go all the way in the back and then when it came back down the ramp? No! That was a short house. It was a sm the cops broke up that party early. <laughs> it's happy hour! Playfield values are enhanced. Switch has been causing this trouble. Yeah. I mean, it's true. I think it's one of the I love when the house turns green when you lock the ball. It looks beautiful. I'll never make that skill shot. Yeah, I am. I'll never make it. I'll never get. I'll never get the back door. Oh no. Oh, double. Oh no. Kid Creaso, it's his birthday today. Why would he be why would he be on the internet? Right, Moon? It's very, uh, yeah, very much so. Jackpot! 
Oh no. At least I snuck it. And I got an atom on. That's a good light. That's a good uh, impression, Jack. I'm impressed. Yeah. See, we don't have to pay for Tim. I'm coming for your job, Tim. Don't let Gary hear you. Uh, you'll fire Tim. I'll try to get that target, Dennis. Oh, I just clipped it, but it didn't count. Oh. Give it the guess. Give it the guess. Hold on. Mike's reporting something to Lyman. He's telling Lyman, "I really, I really like your haircut today, bro. Uh, and the shampoo you're using is on." on I do have to go home. <laughs> All right, I want to, I got to play this again. Guys, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? No one's going anywhere. Uh, Ooh, that's nice and loud. Can we actually turn that off for the stream? <laughs> Is that a setting we can hit, uh, hit really quick? Sure. We're not going to touch it. Never mind. Everything's great. Off. Everything's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you need a... Do we need to do something? No, only if you want me to turn off that. Uh, oh no, screw it. Enjoy the blumps, internet. The, the squelches. Oh no, the immersion. Sorry. All right, we're in a graveyard still. Uh, do you only want in? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna blow this up. I keep saying that every freaking. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So it looks like it. When you do the full plunge, if I'm... Are you effing kidding me, bro? Uh, full plunge hits the uh, the fate button there. Uh, internet, remind me to do that next time so I can actually see, because I think I actually flipped it. All right, go for it. Yeah, internet, there's more callouts and stuff going in the game, for sure. Available and only be killed with a silver bullet. 
breaking news. A member of the Washington Press Corps has just been bitten by a werewolf. And now he's haunting my house. So grab a silver bullet. Oh. Now, that is beer. And let's rid the place uh, of these canine correspondent. Okay. Oh, I think someone got it once. Um, we'll see. I'm trying to get this. I want this, but oh, damn it. Internet, you didn't tell me to full plunge. What are you guys doing? Woo! The Deadhead Family Crib! Blue! Blue! Soundtrack in this game is gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Get ready to hunt down the very bad and a little crazy. Ooh, that was fun. Boom. Man, those ramps shoot nice. Sir Normus Cranium. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Internet, don't slap the games. <laughs> oh, I just missed it. I'll save you this time. So internet, I was just talking to Mike. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play one more game, and uh, then we're going to do a little Q and A if you want. If you have any questions to ask, uh, we'll see what we could do here. It's all time pending. It's like eight thirty now, so we got like another half an hour. You guys built this, yeah, bud. I love this we are at. <laughs> I love this crap. <laughs> this is <laughs> that's an amazing call out. I love this crap. Bounce, chicka, bounce, chicka, bounce, bounce, bounce. That was. It's right here. <laughs> that was that was awesome. <laughs> Come on. 
Could we replace the rainbow and inner tube pop up graphics with a graphic of little monsters from e Uh Tim Fife, let me just say there's there's more coming, so don't sweat it. Alright, here comes a full plunge to see where it goes. You ready? Listen. Calm down. Me again? What was it? Uh, this is, I think, Uncle Bolthead? Michael, Michael Bolthead? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good name. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Uh, so you, unfortunately, yes, <laughs> says Lyman. Yes, Elvira had a big hand in this, and it's her IP. The hand of fate is lit. Radical, thank you, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate it. But yeah, to answer a lot of questions I see uh, rolling by, um, there's a, a lot more callouts and stuff coming out. Um, we're just going to put them in. First time on here, Jack. Hey, what's up, Indie Pin? Yeah, if you're unfamiliar with Stern Pinball, uh, if you ever do the factory tour, um, there's a lot of very talented ladies out there putting all together. Men and ladies, but the... Yeah, there's a lot of women represented here at Stern Pinball working and building the games. Including Elvira herself, who obviously had a big hand in putting this game together. Yeah, Elvira even did, like, brand new clips for that. Like, brand new video clips of her talking to you while you're playing. Uh, 
Uh, Near Dark, Jason. Um, yeah, so that's coming out in uh, 3032. So hold your breath. It is. If you want a Stern Factory Tour, ladies and gentlemen, uh, contact probably Zach Sharp. Zach.sharp at sternpinball.com. Send him. Uh, he, he requires haikus in order to be accepted into the uh, the tour. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of it. That's right, Johnny. And now we're coming to get you and your little zombie friends, too. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. What is it? 838? We're going to play one more four-player game. Where's Mike? Did he leave? Is he eating pizza? Yeah. All right, we're going to do one more four-player game. We're going to do a quick Q&A, and then we're going to let you all go home, okay? I'm not starting this time, though. Lyman, let's see what you got. <laughs> Mike? As a quick aside, is anyone here going to TwitchCon uh, in a couple of days? San Diego Convention Center. Mike, I'll let you go next, please. If you're going to the San Diego uh, TwitchCon, yeah, same same building. Um, I will be there with eight pinball machines for you to come play. This will not be one of those machines. <laughs> Mike got stomped on, so that amounts. Oh, so nothing good, really. Nothing good, yeah. It's all good. It's, it's fun to know. It's fun to know. Yeah, it's fun to know those things. Well, he's beaten by a werewolf. Well, werewolf. Becomes werewolf himself. Himself. Gate by Elvira's hot tub. That's the water gate. The water gate. I love it. Thirty-six. Ooh, that was a fun little move that I did not get yelled at for. Dirty cheater, Jack. <laughs> that, that was amazing. Dirty Blue. Aunt Sarley. You're interrupting my favorite soap opera. <laughs> Uh, the streamers. I will be streaming from TwitchCon, yes. And if you're going to TwitchCon, you get to be on said stream. <laughs> exactly. All the dollars, please. Internet, this game shoots as I, like, look away. This game shoots so freaking well, it's insane. Ooh, get it up to the thing. There's one. There's one. Oh, nuts. Unhappy hour. Oh, did a timeout? Awesome. Holy moly. That fun noise sounds like a turkey. Oh, we almost snuck it in there. That would have been sick. I'm going to try something here. Yep. The backflip for the orbit internet. By the way. There's more than just backhands. Backflipping is letting the ball go out onto the tip of the flipper and then flipping. 
It lets you shoot stuff that is behind the flipper. I already had that leaper. Oh. Oh, thought I had you. Already have that one. Already have that one, idiot. It's time to step on it. Stepped on. I'm seeing the blinking. I'm seeing the blinking. I just want to like, I want to get those gargoyles. I'm obsessed with them. Oh man, stop teasing me with that. We're just flipping the car. Oh, you cinema. Pin curves. I played the player one. I did. I, oh, yeah, and I went to get some water and I came back. I can play two. I was player two. Yeah, I had a short game. Go for it. Yeah. Player one? Tell if I slide it back. What? Whoa. Oh, come on! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, Mike, you're gonna slap it hard. Slap, slap it to the right. <laughs> Fire too. There you yeah. go. Actually, you should see the floor in my office. <laughs> Speaking of death saves. Underneath every game, there's like black lines from where I slide the game all over the place. Ready, internet? Oh, 
get, 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 get the thing. Got him. Jeez, something's gonna start oozing. Gotcha. Gotcha, dummy. Look, gotta ki gotta kiss now. the kiss yeah, the corner. Night of the Living Dead, the original zombie adventure. Let's crack this crap ASAP. Noise. Didn't even realize it was open for me. Okay, don't do it. Let it bounce. Let's hit it. Oh, you suck. I was trying to hit that. Here it comes. Mm. Got it. We got him, Internet. We got the freaking gargoyles. Oh, jeez. Sorry about your ears, Internet. True. Protect your ear balls, internet. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you Thanks. The, the multi-ball curse. Wow. I've got, I've got under a million. <laughs> All right. Close your eyes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So after these, uh, after the last couple players play here, we're going to do a quick Q&A and, &A and uh, get your questions ready. 42 saturation degrees and 96 volumes. Teenager must mean something else in space, because, I mean, these guys look like 30-something. You know, my age. in the back door internet it's right there oh and no back door for dad no you sensitive damn head for the trunk i don't want the trunk Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> it gave, gave old fire an old lady face. Boom, chaka laka, boom, 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 chaka laka, boom, boom. All right, that was that was a great glass hit, actually. Can I get gargoyles in this? No. Okay, cool. That's what I was shooting for. I will stop doing that. For the gargoyles, yeah, you can get them in the multiple. Oh, you can get them in this yeah, multiple? Oh, okay, great. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Oh, My bad. I did, I did just get it, yeah. Good to know. We'll get it. It's right there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get up, you're asleep. I got a butt? What was that? Drain. <laughs> Where is the head of The wheel. Let's get started today. Yeah. Sorry about your ears. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the gameplay portion of the stream. Uh, we're going to take a few questions if you have any. Um, hit me with an at dead flip in chat and then type your question. I'll be able to see it a lot better. Uh, can we see the back glass? It's the back glass. Look it up on the internet. I don't know. Just freaking go look at it. It's just, it's just the back glass. It's on the website. I don't know if it's on the website. We, put, uh, we put an old um, uh, Aerosmith one in this just to... Do whatever. You're not allowed to look at it. Uh, are the three different multi balls always in the same order? Um, th there's no particular order. You work on them. It depends on what you collect first. Yeah. Right. You work on them on however you want to. Uh, does this game feel like a good spiritual successor to Scared Stiff? Absolutely. Uh, not a question. I love you. Cool. All right. Uh, love you too. Modesty decal question. I mean, get a sharpie. I don't know. Yeah. Do you, I mean? Do you want a modesty decal? 
if you're up uh, I, I think we was it unmodesty decal <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah we <laughs> unmodesty <laughs> decals well there's on everything on the game and the on oh, skill yeah. shot and, and the unhappy screen, hour and some electrician's tape oh yeah some, <laughs> some electrician's tape uh, are the inner tubes with every pop? Uh, I didn't get that question, but there's inner tubes. Whatever. I don't know. The little floaties. Is the table all LED? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 100% yes. Um, where are the boogeymen? We need the boogeymen. They're going to show they're, up. They're, uh, they're, in the, they're in the house park. Okay. It's, calm down. This, this one here... Uh, Oh, none of us. I got to the house oh, you did get to it. Yeah, I got to the house party on the one on the game I played by myself. He oh, sure. The intro because the ball went it up the out. went up the yeah. ramp to start it, and it started to do the intro, and then it rolled back down, and that shot was lit for an award, and the award killed the whole yeah. start to the whole thing. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. No, uh, not cool. I mean, <laughs> not cool. Sorry about that internet. Yeah. No, it's fine. Are there really video clips from 26 movies? Yes. Will there be a super skill shot when you hold the left flipper and launch? Um, You'll that's, a, that's a tough one because in order to get the backdoor skill shot, I have to open the gate. And yeah. normally what I do with super skill shot is hold the left flipper and when you plunge, it'll open the gate. So since the gate's already open, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the gate's open by default. So if you want the top lanes, you got to skillfully plunge for those. If you want the back door, you got to plunge just a little harder. You know what I'm saying? And then a uh, full plunge comes around to shoot something. And you're, you're having a good time. Uh, is Elvira cool in real life? Yes. yes. Why do you? Uh, well, yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, that's that's not that wasn't a question at all. Um, how often will the ball? Uh, what? Uh, that went past. Will premiums be available before Halloween? Is that a thing we can answer? I don't know. I don't know the. Sure. I don't know the schedule. We the uh, the the the, the paper dudes aren't in here. You know, how many multi ball modes and how how do you get them? How many multi ball? Uh, one, two, three, single ball, single ball, multi ball, multi ball, multi ball. So three, four, five, six multi ball. Damn, six multi balls. There you go. Uh, they're. Yes. I'll tell you how to get two of them, the two e closest ones to you. Three, you lock three balls in here in the house after you drop the drop target down. And then the other one, if you get two balls in the trunk, it starts that multi ball. How do you get the floating heads to go away? You keep hitting the Deadhead Family Crypt. Hit that enough? When you hit it enough times, the, the skull moves and opens up the scoop. You shoot it into the scoop and you make them go away. Are the buoys a deliberate double entendre? It's Elvira. Get, what, uh, listen, I'm not going to hold your hand on this game, okay? Uh, let's see. Oh, but how many will be available to play at Expo? Do we know that? I don't know. The these will be at Expo. Yeah, for sure. This will be um, at Expo. Cassandra will also be at Expo, which is cool. So go get your photo taken with her. I have a fair amount of them. Yeah. Uh, are there any party monster references? Absolutely. Um, yeah, boogeyman. Boogeyman. What does going into the cellar under the ramp start? Uh, well, if you get the skill shot, it'll start the uh, the mode, um, and if you sneak in during a mode, it'll give you uh, some of the shots based on the skeleton key. Oh, the cool! Skeleton key. Oh, skeleton o o opens the door. Yeah, okay. Off of the, off of the trunk. Got it. Uh, it also comes up in Night of the Living Dead, one of the shots. Modes are open-ended, so a lot of times it'll give you an opportunity to shoot some of the shots. Or if you want, you could go to the cellar and sort of, um, you know, advance through uh, to the next, um, you know, to finish the haunt. So, but I think it was talking about the oh, yeah, the other the other oh, gotcha. back area. Yeah. Will the lock bar do? Well, the lock bar is good for the uh, the spinning disc um, that it shows up on the screen to stop. It's sort of like the the spinning thing you have on um, the, the refresh the spider, my memory. On, like, like the spider, spider. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the, this wheel's on the screen. Wait, there's one more thing. That's oh, I'm yeah, I don't have it in yet, but uh, the deadhead instead of just going in and him disappearing, uh, I'm gonna have it uh, fire the ball over to the. Top oh, that's right. It shoots out of there. On the screen, and you know he's taunting you, and you're 
you know, you hit him that way. So heck yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there a Lyman's Lament code in this? I don't know. No, no, there is not. Yeah, 26 movies is enough. There you go. Um, how do you get the floating heads to go away? I said that already. You got to uh, keep hitting the crypt. What determines how the house diverts to the left or the right? Um, so most of the time during the haunts, um, the ball will return um, kind of like uh, to, to the flipper. And then on the first haunt, it goes right in the back uh, to start it. The next one you start, you have to make one ramp shot to open the back, to get into the back. And then also all of the haunts finish in the house, either in the cellar or in the back. So, right. yeah. All right. Well, Internet, I think we're going to kill it there because uh, we've all been here for a very long time. We're going to go home. Um, but you will be able to play this game at the Chicago Pinball Expo. So make sure you are there. We'll have these. Cassandra will be there. Take your photo with everybody. Gentlemen, if I could have you pile in here really quick, we're going to wave goodbye. Shout out to Mike Vinicor, Greg Ferris, Dennis Nordman, Lyman Sheets, obviously. There they are. Bye, everybody. Lyman, what the frick are you doing? Get over here. <laughs> All right. Go goodbye, Internet. Goodbye. <laughs> Steve